Today I thought I would review the iGadgets uh, water resistant neoprene sports armband for the iPhone. Um, supposedly this is for all models of the iPhone. Uh, I have the 3GS and my wife has a uh, iPhone 4 so I have tried it with both although I do use my 3GS uh, mainly. One of the first things I will say about this this band is that it, it, it does fit fairly tight um, as far as putting the iPhone in here. Um, so if you have an external case like I have this case here, you have to take that off in order to make this fit. And I'll show you here in just a second how that works. So it does have a cover. I hesitate to say how water resistant this truly is because it's got a cutout right here in the plastic. So if you were in a heavy downpour or something, this phone would get wet. Um, so that's definitely something to think about. As well, you have the cutout for the holes here, so you're going to get water down there if you, you go through a decent rain shower. Uh, the back opens up, as you can see, it's Velcroed, and then you take the phone, flip it upside down, and uh, shove it in. And you can see this is actually a very tight fit uh, for the 3GS, um, although it does fit once you get it in there. Um, there is room to put, uh, I usually put a credit card and my driver's license in here. There's plenty of room for that. You could probably even put a key, and this does Velcro down nicely around the edges. So, and then once it's strapped on, there's no way that back cover's coming off. So you could probably fit a flat key or something back in here if you really needed to. Um, as far as touch sensitivity, um, it does work moderately well. Um, it can be a little bit challenging. Um, you can see it doesn't fit incredibly tight over. Um, so if you're wearing gloves that aren't capacitant, don't have a capacitance fingertips or something like that, you're going to struggle. So you're going to have to take your glove off, do whatever you're doing, you know, if you're going to start your run or whatnot, and then put it on. Now this is kind of awkward because of the way this arm armband works. So what I end up usually having to do is you can see it's a long Velcro strap and I usually end up just securing a little bit of it and then slipping that up on my arm first like so and then tightening it once it's in place so I can do this with one, with one arm which uh, it can be a little tricky and then you know, with your hand on glove, then you can go ahead and start your run or whatnot. But it is a little bit annoying um, that it is that thick. I'd imagine most of these are. I have another armband, a similar issue. Um, so I guess that's probably par for the course. Um, otherwise, I would say I do like the, the fastener. You can get it as tight as you want. Um, it does accommodate a huge range of arm sizes. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'd say you kind of get what you pay for. It is cheap, but on the other hand, uh, it is highly functional. Um, living in the Pacific Northwest, though, I'd suggest you look at another option if you're doing a lot of running in, in rain or where there's a lot of uh, precipitation because water-resistant really is a bit of a stretch on this.